Hello, um, I am Dr. Irina Kalen Jagman, um, and I'm a professor in the Biological Sciences Department and Neuroscience Program at Dominican University. Uh, we're a university right outside of Chicago, um, Illinois, and um, my research focuses on learning and memory. Specifically, I study um, the the molecular aspects of learning and memory, how are um, how genes are regulated in the brain that leads to uh, formation of long-term memory and then forgetting. What was the best advice you ever got in the STEM field? So between my sophomore and junior year in college, um, I spent a summer doing undergraduate research. And I remember the faculty member who I worked with told me that science research is about 20% success and 80% failure. So over my career as a scientist, um, I have often thought about this advice and always remember to really enjoy those moments when experiments work and when I'm actually able to contribute uh, new knowledge to my field. What does your research focus on? Um, I've always been interested in gene regulation and the biological processes associated with that. Um, I find it really fascinating that every long-term memory that we make actually requires uh, new mRNAs and ultimately new proteins. So my science, uh, my research program here at Dominican focuses on trying to understand how genes are turned on and off in the brain uh, when memories are converted from the short-term to the long-term. Um, and I'm also interested in how forgetting occurs and how gene regulation plays a role in this important process. Um, we use a simple model, um, a sea slug called Aplesia californica, and we can do behavioral assays and molecular biology to um, answer these questions. So undergraduates in our lab uh, can, you know, contribute to the work and learn different techniques um, from behavior to quantitative PCR. Um, so that's it. Uh, great. So you just mentioned undergrads. Would you be able to go a little bit more into depth about what type of opportunities there are for undergrads in your lab? Yeah, for sure. So um, through a number of funding mechanisms at Dominican University, internal and external funding, we're able to support students um, who want to work for an entire summer in the lab uh, doing research. But also we can support students throughout the year, uh, the academic year, and they can incorporate research into their schedules. Um, our undergraduate students come into the lab uh, and spend a lot of time training and learning how to handle the animals, how to do behavioral assays with the animals, and then um, how to actually figure out which genes are regulated. And so a lot of molecular techniques and also behavioral, um, behavioral techniques as well. What do you like most about teaching neuroscience? Um, I think I love the fact that, uh, first of all, neuroscience can be taught through so many different lenses, um, from psychology to biology. People from very different backgrounds can make contributions. And I love that neuroscience moves so fast. And there's always, always, every semester, something new and exciting to teach as we try to understand this really complex thing that is our brain and our nervous system. If you were not a neuroscience, what would you do? I love solving problems and creating pathways and order. So I, I think if I weren't a, a neuroscientist, I would probably love to be an engineer.